from you now, right? And this is what the, the last time we were having a conversation. Before it sounded as if, you know, your conversation was focused on the people who were suffering in the city. Now I hear you're saying that your goal and your focus is for all people. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, it's, oh, listen I, of course, it's always going to be for the city of Detroit. My heart's going to be in the city of Detroit. Uh, but, you know, I want to represent everyone in the 13th district. Okay, I mean, that's my goal. Now, that still doesn't mean that I can't represent African-American issues. It still doesn't mean I can't represent black issues. It still doesn't mean I don't want to carry on the same cause as uh, John. First of all, nobody will replace John Kine. Right. John Kine is an icon. But it still doesn't mean I'm not going to fight for reparations. Mm -hmm. It still doesn't mean I'm not going to fight to make sure that um, black girls are not suspended higher than their counter white, their Caucasian counterparts. It still doesn't mean I'm not going to fight for, uh, for uh, the prisoner the prisoner industrial complex and the criminal justice system where African Americans are six times more likely to be incarcerated than their white counterparts. So it doesn't mean I'm not going to fight for equal justice. I just think I'm going to have a much more broader approach in terms of doing it. And I think I'm going to change a lot of my style and my approach to the way I'm doing things. You, uh, you know, have made a comment recently in regards to driver responsibility. And so if there are, driver responsibility is done, correct? Yeah, it's done. If the driver responsibility is done and there is a, uh, I, think, I think there's a, Amnesty program as well for certain people to be able to have it, but yes. In 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 regard is is we talk, we talked about you know raising the minimum wage and you know yeah. poverty in Detroit is is always you know going to be a topic that we always are going to it's have like thirty five percent give or take yeah and so how would you address that how can you address that in Congress poverty well one of the first things we want to do one is we want to raise the minimum wage mm -hmm. secondly what we want to do is we want to invest more in terms of building affordable housing mm -hmm. I think that's something that's very important also there's something called. Uh, I think the, there's something called the Social Innovation Fund. And the Social Innovation Fund is basically something where it provides money to local units of government to be able to experiment with dealing with poverty mm -hmm. and certain things in that area. That's something that we really want to invest in, as well as Head Start, as well as making sure that we have a uh, universal pre-K. Mm -hmm. Because a child's brain develops most between zero and three. Mm -hmm. So I think these are things that we should start doing, as well as making sure that we have the mandate back for Medicaid expansion which uh, 13 million people will now not have health care coverage because of what they did, as well as also uh, make sure that we fight against the Trump administration from getting rid of the community development block grant money. That's money that's fit for cities to be able to deal with a multitude of things, but including poverty. I think that's something that would be a mistake, as well as making sure that we fully fund Medicaid as well. I think that if we do these sort of things, I think that we'll be a lot better off. Michael and Clarkson, how are you? Thank you so very much for holding. Line three. Hi, uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, uh, Senator Young, I, I um, um, have thought a lot about your uh, uh, the proposal you made for what I basically call the $3 surcharge on tickets. I think it's a, a very good idea. I think it's fair. Um, the, the thought that I have, though, is uh, teachers... Uh, they're also public servants. They're just as important, I think, um, as the other three categories. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the state of education in Detroit, really, in Michigan, and the whole state, you know, is such that we need to do something about that. I think we don't pay our teachers nearly enough. They have to go out and buy supplies with their own money, and they start out making it, uh, I, I think, a shamefully low salary. What do you think about the idea of making it four bucks? And, you know, giving a, a, a dollar, you know, towards some sort of yeah. uh, education fund. I, I think that's a great idea. You know, that would do someone else, the leadership in the... Um in the uh, Michigan City Democratic Party, they, they, they came to me, Jim Andy came to me and talked to 